Hello, I'm doing this video to show you how to take a stamp machine, make it to a candy machine. Uh, the work's already been done on this machine, so I can't show you the actual work, but I will talk you through the steps and how to do it. Uh, it takes a few hours, um, but it's all fairly easy. Just uh, a, a few steps are kind of tedious and you just got to take your time but so just show you how it works so it bends these Hershey's miniatures and the cool thing about it and why it's easy to turn it into a candy machine is and this requires no modification as you can see these columns held stamps and they actually came in a little cardboard package which was actually the same size um, as these Hershey's miniatures however you know they were probably the thickness of a dime um, so you don't have to do any modification to get the uh, columns to hold the candy um, these machines do come with weights uh, I don't use the weights I don't think it, it makes a difference uh, so I'm not using that so uh, let's start we're gonna talk about the front of the machine first so obviously as you can see in this picture the two slots where the stamps came out were thin they're the same width uh, for the candy but they're they're very thin so what I did was I taped off the area I wanted to cut and then I actually I have this piece of metal and and I clamped it like so and I used a Dremel tool just a cutting wheel and I started cutting um, but you can't you can't cut past a line or you'll end up with with lines right so I make my, my straight cut and then I take a coping saw and I take the blade off and I, and I put it in through the hole and then I finish cutting my squares off. Um, so, uh, you know, that's probably the hardest part of this job or the part that I guess you need to be most careful so you don't end up with the front end looking all messed up. So I got them cut close and then I just took a couple of files and and did the finish work with the files um, and uh, so it, it leaves a, a an opening that looks like this okay uh, I I added these little doors which you don't have to add there to me it's just a cosmetic it's not functional and what I made those out of was I had some plastic probably from some model building or something laying around the house and I just cut them uh, the size to fit and um, painted them and um, I couldn't figure out a hinge you might better figure out a better way to hinge it I used packing tape on the inside and this machine has been working for quite a while um, it never messes up and I've never had a problem with the little door so doors are optional so um, next what we need to do is uh, pull off the front and uh, I'll show you the uh, modifications you need to make uh, to the back side. So um, there's just a, a, a few screws um, down here actually. Uh, now that I think about it, I think it was a rivet that held this on and uh, I drilled it out and, and put some screws. Um, I don't really remember exactly so um, if it's a rivet you got to drill it. If it's not then remove it but you're going to have to remove this front piece to do modifications to this section here so um, I'm going to go ahead and and take that off and uh, show you the next step.
Okay, um, there's also two screws right through here, one on each side that you have to remove to get the front off. Pull the front off. Show you what the front looks like. Let's set that aside. Okay, now we have the front off. Of course, this is the uh, modified version, but I do have a picture of uh, before I did the mods. And here's the picture, and you can see. Um, there's a like a uh, a tunnel or a guide for the cardboard stamp package to slide out the front and it has a little spring I'm not sure what the spring is for but you you want to remove the spring and I just take my um, Dremel tool with a uh, cutoff blade and you can see where I have uh, the line marked you want to cut off um, the two sides and you don't want to cut through the bottom uh, you want to leave the bottom so we we have the bottom this part right here okay you don't want to cut through this part you'll cut through the two sides and then file them down and once you have those two guides removed then you have to and and let me back up these two columns uh, will unbolt from this base and it's easier to do the work. You, I suppose you don't have to, but take off three or four screws and take the column off. It's a little bit easier uh, to work on. Um, so you've cut the, the guide off and next, uh, I don't have a picture of this, but right here, this piece of metal here went all the way down to where you had a very narrow gap so just the uh, the small stamp, stamp uh, package would slide through so obviously we have to cut this and I cut that again um, with a Dremel tool and uh, that you know this process I don't know if it looks hard but this is actually the easiest part uh, of doing this the front panel is is probably the most time consuming and at least the part I worried about the most because if you mess up a little bit here it won't you know nobody's gonna see it um, and then you can see I put these little wood shims here um, because the you know before we had the little guide that the stamps slid through I'm not sure if it's necessary but uh, I'll push one of the candies out and you see, I just think it, it helps keep the candy, you know, lined up as it goes through the front door. So, uh, just a little piece of wood. Um, I use double stick tape. Uh, I, I, I have it. I use it because I know if I mess up, I can remove it. Glue it, double stick tape, you know, whatever you like. So, once you've done this, um, there's only one one more thing you need to do and that is on the back side here um, let me take out some uh, some of this candy let me show you this so there's a um, a slide that push the the stamps out. Okay, let, let me put some money in it. Well, I'll show you how it worked. So let's see. Hopefully, you can see that moving. When you put the money in, the slide goes backwards, and then when you pull it forward, it pushes the stamps out or the candy now and it's a very thin piece of metal so again I took this plastic and I cut out a piece the size of the uh, 
the slide that's already in there. Hopefully you can see that. So it's right here. Let me slide it out again and I'll, I'll show you. So there you can see the slide. Okay, and it that that much difference is what I needed to uh, to get the candy to push out. Before I did that, it still pushed the candy out, but sometimes it wouldn't. So I added this thin piece of plastic. Again, is st stuck with double stick tape, and you know you do that on both sides, and uh, that's what pushes your candy out. Um, one more thing on the on the bottom it had springs on the bottom and the springs are very strong and if you leave the springs it works um, when you uh, put money in see how it returns with the spring it returns much harder and it'll actually sling the candy out sometimes a foot or two uh, so you can test that um, if you if you like the way it works fine leave the springs uh, I just put some rubber bands on there to without without the rubber bands when you push it down it, it would just go down and stay so the rubber band actually brings it back up um, but that's it that's um, that's all you have to do to turn your uh, stamp machine into a candy machine at Vinzi's little Hershey's miniatures. Um, like I said they fit perfect in the back. And with those mods, you know, a couple hours of work, uh, just a few tools, uh, that's how I, I was able to do it. So if you have any questions, uh, shoot me a message and uh, good luck. It's a, it's a fun project. It's one of my popular candy machines because people rather have just one little taste of candy seems like than a whole candy bar so um, that's it that's how I did it um, I, I have looked at some stamp machines that they don't have these columns on them they, you know they're set up with a roll or the stamps will be rolled obviously that wouldn't work so before you buy a machine make sure it's a, a similar machine uh, to this one all right Thanks for watching. Uh, if you do it, change one of your machines up. I'd like to see it. You may have some, some other ideas how to do it, maybe better ideas. So uh, let's just share and uh, enjoy the hobby. Thanks for watching.